Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stillness Update. In today's update, we are going to talk a little bit about what is happening with Dogecoin, which actually isn't really doing that good. It's at bounce between 36 and 37 cents, which means we don't know what's going on with it. We still expect Elon Musk to keep his word and send it to the moon, as he says. I mean, I've watched a few videos about this, and they're very, well... They're not too informative, let's put it that way. They keep saying he's going to keep his word, but yet he keeps bouncing off and talking about other cryptocurrencies. In fact, we find out that he actually uh, changed his uh, profile picture on one of his sites to the a Bitcoin girl. That's right, you heard me, a Bitcoin girl. But we'll see what happens. I mean, if it goes up to $69, that'd be great because then a lot of people will be having a lot, a lot of money. But uh, that's what this way. Most of this video is actually going to be a bit more entertaining for you guys than you think. As you can see my background, it says Rap Battles. Well, I actually got an epic rap battle. It's sort of a uh, cartoon, if you want to put it that way. But it's of uh, McDonald's versus KFC. So, in fact, you know what? I'm going to throw that on right now, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Today, we got two of the biggest fast food giants ever to bless us with their presence. I'm talking about McDonald's and KFC. McDonald's, you're up first. Let's go. Kick this shit. Who do you think that you're talking to? Who? I'm not your peer, I'm the boss of you. I'll dip your bitch ass in barbecue. You're sitting in the court with the big dog, bitch, I'm about to prosecute. You're just a prostitute. Selling your legs and thighs for the pennies people tossing you. How sad. I can't remember the last time that I had some chicken this bad. Your potato mash, absolute trash. Your gravy looks like it came out of my ass. Your coleslaw's whack and so is your mac. Your biscuits are drier than volcanic ash. Your menu selection is weaker than one bar reception. I'd rather eat sushi from 7-Eleven than never set foot in your premises. Punk people should run from you like the flash, hey, one of my damn McNuggets got more flavor than your whole damn 12 piece bucket. Time for that old fart in a bow tie to just face back and say fuck it. You try to start shit with the golden arches, you wind up face down with a clown shoe and your sphincter. Take a minute to envision that mental picture, that kind of trauma sticks with you, mister. So tell the colonel to suck my McNuts, I can dip them in a little sweet and sour. You should really just give up, you thick fuck. You cannot handle this big Mac power. And fuck all y'all herbs and spices, shit tastes like a damn fried oven mitt. But watching you die, ba da 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 da, bitch, I'm Loving it. Huh. Woo! Well, sit on my face and call me Sergio. That is how you rap battle, ladies and gentlemen. All right, KFC, you're up next. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then kick this shit. You think you can fuck with the bucket? Bitch, I'm the Kentucky killer. This battle is nothing. And don't talk shit on the current. RIP to the big man. You gonna learn. He put your ass in an urn. But he ain't with us no more. So now it's my turn. Hope that you ready to burn. Look at my face. Do you see any concern? Didn't think so. I'ma skin you alive and then wear your bitch ass like a mink coat. And don't compare your shitty ass chicken to mine. Those fake nuggets are made of pink slime. And your Big Macs taste like nuclear waste. Get that fake bullshit up out of my face. Your whole menu's a joke. Your fries always cold. And your ice cream machine always broke. Ugh. There has never been a meal as horrid as a motherfucking fish fillet. Ugh. I'ma do the human race a favor and put you inside a ditch today. Look. Better keep that weird ass clown away from the kids. I got Chris Hansen on speed dial, bitch. And you about to learn what a mix cell is. So one more time for the people in the back. Come and get some chicken on a fake Big Mac. And if I ever catch you in my hood, I'ma fry your ass till you're finally finger licking good. Damn. Bitch. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, McDonald's versus KFC. Who won, and who do you want to hear next time? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, peace. And as you saw from I mean, KFC sort of did kick McDonald's butt, but <clears throat> the funny thing is, is I haven't eaten, eaten at KFC in... Oh my gosh, must be years. I think two, three, four years, maybe more. Because where I work at, I usually just go to McDonald's by where I work at. And just get me two cheeseburgers and call it good. Well, that and a glass of water. But here's, here's a secret menu item you guys may want to try out. It's actually a pretty good idea. It is called a Ghetto Big Mac. And what it is, is you order a, a uh, double cheeseburger with lettuce pickles and ma and the um the mac sauce on it and you can actually have them put this the actual buns that they use on the, the big mac on it as well just make sure they don't add the catch from mustard to it and 
you basically have a ghetto Big Mac minus the third piece of bread, which is unnecessary carbs. But this is how you do a heads up there, you know, about the, the ghetto Big Mac, because there's other secret menu items that are on the McDonald's menu if you can find them. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in L.